back guys to LS Plays FM and to now the second of our three tutorial videos for Football Manager 2021 and regarding our how-to videos. So of course, first time up, we went through how to install the real life player faces for FM21, which there will be a link above me for you to click on if you missed that and you wanna have a look at how you can do that, as well as a link at the end of the video. But today we're gonna to be focused on how you can install the real life logo packs for the game. Now guys, if you do enjoy this video and you find it helpful and so on, then please do drop a like on the video. It massively does help the channel out. And also, if you wanna take a look at the next upcoming video, the how to install the real life name fixes and so on, then do make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you'll get notified when that video goes live. And you can also take a look at my beta save where I'm playing with Manchester United in my Taming the Devil series. Now though, in terms of the tutorial, let's get started. I am going to be using Sort It Out SI's website and their various packs and everything for this tutorial just because out of personal preference, I prefer to use Sort It Out SI. There are various other websites for you to use. In terms of links in the description, you'll find the links to the Sort It Out SI website and to the logo packs I'm going to be using. Now, if we get on to Sort It Out SI's website though, which I am on here, which is sortitoutsi.net, you will see I'm on the home page over here and just on the left of the screen there is the graphics page that you can click on. So once you click on here, you'll be given access to various sections of their graphics area such as the Football Manager player faces, the Football Manager kits, the logo packs which we're gonna be using and the Football Manager background. Now personally, my own preference is the Metallic Logos Mega Pack but there are others in here which you can use and the process we're gonna be using for the logo pack is the same across the board, whichever one you use. So I'm going to click on the metallic mega pack here, which will take me to that page. And you can see we get given a couple of options. You get given the option to either A, download the complete pack, or B, to download latest changes. You can also download other versions of the files down here on the right as well. It's entirely up to you which ones you wanna click on. I am going to download the entire pack. So if you haven't got any logos at all, from any previous FMs or anything like that, then you're going to want to download the entire pack here. So all you have to do is click on the download complete pack and it will begin the download. You can see it started doing it down here in the bottom left. Of course, these are big files, so if you've got slow into anything like that, you'll find this may be a lengthy process. In terms of myself, it reckons it'll be about 10, 15 minutes. So what I will do guys is I will cut away and I will see you again in a few secs once this file is downloaded. So here we are now guys, the download for the logo packs has now been complete. I'm now on my downloads folder, which is where you'll have to go. So once you're in your download folders, you should find the logo pack is in here and it will be in here as a zip file. So on my computer, I have WinRAR as my unzipping program. You'll need to have an unzipping program to be able to extract the files, which is what our next step will be. If you haven't got one, I will put a link in the description for WinRAR and for 7-Zip, which you can use either of, and they will both work in pretty much the same method. So the first step you need to do once you've got your files downloaded is you need to go into your documents and you need to go to your sports interactive folder. So I'm on my documents here. So if I scroll down to sports interactive, I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna to go to my Football Manager 2021 folder. I'm gonna open it up. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to have access to a graphics folder. If you haven't got any graphics which you've made yourself or anything like that or you've brought in, then you won't have this folder as of yet created. So all you have to do is right click inside the folder itself, click on new, click folder, and then you just got to name it graphics, for example. So if I'm gonna type in graphics like this, the folder is then in here, it's then completely empty because we haven't got anything in it. So what I can then do is I go back to my downloads, I'm going to now right click my zip file for the logo pack, I'm going to do the extract files, I then need to tell the system where I want the files to go to. So if I browse to the same area, so I'm going to open up my documents on here, I'm gonna scroll down to Sports Interactive, open that up, open up Football Manager 2021, and I'm gonna select the graphics folder. So I will put that in there, I'll click on okay, and it will start the extracting process. 
This will, again, take some time. I've got an SSD, so it's pretty quick for me, but if you've got a laptop or a quite an old computer, something like that, this process may take you some time. So just be aware of that, that you need to let it run for a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away, and then once it's completed, I'll show you what then happens. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So guys, you'll now see I have just finished the extraction process for the logo packs, and now it has left us with the Sort It Out SI Metallic Logos folder now on the screen. Of course, if you use a different logo pack, it may look slightly different, but it will be pretty much the same. If I open it up, it will then give you some various details, such as pictures, and then in here, it has various logos, flags, and more. Now, what we have to do is we have to actually go into Football Manager now and implement these changes within the game itself. So I'm going to open up Football Manager and you will see I am here on what is my Manchester United save for my Taming the Devil series, which actually has just gone live on YouTube only a couple of days ago. There'll be a link above me if you want to have a watch of that series. There should be a couple of episodes out by now by the time this video goes live. And you'll notice on the screen that Manchester United, for example, doesn't have any logos and neither does Barcelona over here on the right. If I click on Barcelona, you'll see that they haven't got a logo either. So what you need to do is you need to click on the FM button up here in the top right. You need to go down to preferences and then you need to make sure that this option here in the drop down menu is set to interface. It may be by default on most common. So just make sure you click on the drop down menu, click on interface. And then once it's on this menu, just scroll down to where it says the skin option and first you have to deselect or untick the use caching to decrease page loading times and then tick the reload skin when confirming changes in preferences. You have to make sure that the first one is definitely unticked and the second one is ticked otherwise this won't work. You can then either click on confirm or reload skin. Either will work, I'm gonna click on confirm and it will start changing the skin. This process may take a little bit of time on your computer, especially if you've got a slow system. But once it's finished doing the process, we should see our logos should change to being the proper official logos of the teams and so on. And indeed they have. So Manchester United is now showing on the screen, as is Barcelona. If we click on Man U and flick through some of these teams, for example, you can see Man U, Newcastle, Sheffield, for example, you'll see that the Premier League's got its official logo and things like that. Overall though, guys, that wraps up this how-to video. It's a very quick and easy process, as you've obviously just seen, and I really hope you found it to be helpful. Please, however, do be aware, guys, obviously, because it is the beta, you may come across some issues possibly with this. So if you do, do try taking the logo pack out and refreshing it and everything like that and seeing if any of your issues get resolved. If not, just log them with the SI form and hopefully they can help resolve any queries you may have. Of course, guys, this doesn't just apply to the beta. It will apply to Football Manager itself once it gets released officially on the 24th of November. So you can apply the same process we've been through here today on the full game itself. Hopefully, though, guys, you have, of course, found this to be very helpful and you've enjoyed the video itself. If you have, then please do chuck a like on it. It massively does help the channel out. And also, if you're looking forward to any of my content, as I mentioned earlier on, such as the Taming the Devil series with Manchester United or any of my other FM21 content that I have planned, such as my other how-to videos, all my FM21 experiments, then do make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. As well, guys, if you're interested in live streams of FM21, feel free to check out my Twitch channel, which will be linked down in the description and in the pinned comment, where I'll be starting a save over on Twitch with Norwich City. So if you do want to have a look at that, just drop a follow on the channel and you'll be notified when I go live over there on Twitch as well. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time.